Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Adora figure. The first figure of 2010 is a pretty big one, because not only is this the first Princess of Power figure to hit the Classics line, but it's also the first time Adora has ever been made in figure form. Adora comes in the usual Classics Blister card, with one noticeable difference. Very similar to how Hordak included the evil Horde logo on his blister bubble, Adora's bears the classic Princess of Power logo, which is a great nod to that classic toy line. The back of the package includes a look at several other figures in the lineup. Also featured is a brand new bio for Adora that explains the details of her kidnapping by Skeletor and Hordak as an infant. Out of the package, Adora is quite a sight to behold. The first thing I want to discuss is her sculpting, because in my honest opinion, this figure is absolutely beautiful. The four horsemen have done an amazing job on this one. Adora's face sculpt is wonderful, bearing an awfully close resemblance to how she was depicted in classic media. The hair is sculpted rather than rooted like the classic Princess of Power toys, which in my opinion makes it look a lot better. The only issue with this is that the sculpted hair really hinders the movement of her head. Looking left and right is possible, but don't expect her to be able to anger her head upwards. It's just not possible. In a case like this, an extra head with rooted hair might have been a nice addition. Adora is wearing her classic red uniform she was seen with in the original Filmation cartoon series. The uniform piece is actually molded over the female body, very similar to how Tila's was. Now one part of the uniform that she's been criticized on is the skirt piece. In the cartoon, she wore a leotard type bottom. So when looking at this figure, since it's a skirt instead, it does look like she's wearing what has been described as a diaper or granny panties because it seems a little bulky. But closer examination does show that this is a skirt. The horseman opted for the skirt design so that the articulation in the legs could remain intact and stay hidden. It is worth noting that the skirt's material is much softer than what we saw on Tila. Because of this, her leg articulation is better and her body can even twist at the torso, although it does make the skirt look a little funny. Adora includes two accessories. The first is her blaster and holster. This was included so that you can display Adora as she appeared when she was the Force Captain of the Evil Horde, before she learned her true destiny. The blaster has a really cool design, and it fits snugly in either of her hands. The gun fits great in the holster too. And if you prefer, you can remove the holster belt and she can be displayed without. Her second accessory is her more familiar Sword of Protection. I absolutely love the design of this sword, as it is actually modeled after the look of her sword from the old cartoon series. It's slightly smaller and more slender in design than He-Man's, and it includes a blue gem in the middle on both sides. The sword can be placed on Adora's back, or fits perfectly in either of her hands. Okay guys, it's comparison time, but I'm going to do it a little different this time around, as I would actually like to compare her sword. Here it is alongside He-Man's. You can really see the size difference between the two.
And here's the new sword alongside the Shira sword from the 2000X toy line. The 2000X version had that more mechanical look to it, but still bears a similar shape and design. Now since there are no actual Adora figures to compare her with, we'll go ahead and take a look at her alongside the two previously released She-Ra figures. Adora is an incredibly impressive figure. Her sculpt is amazing, her paint turned out great, and even the articulation is pretty good, with no signs of loose joints or a bobblehead. Adora goes on sale on January 15th on MattyCollector.com and has a high probability of selling out fast. So if you do not have a subscription, make sure you get to the site as soon as she goes on sale. Trust me, you do not want to miss out on this one. Until next time. Do it, Doc!